Well, hello, my friends. Do you know people that have been part of a support group, maybe because of alcoholism or drug abuse or some because of spousal abuse? Maybe there's a financial support group. Well, I want to say, first of all, that the church is the greatest support group that you could have. Brothers and sisters in Christ that can pray with you, that can understand what you're going through with. Well, in today's reading in Second Chronicles, chapters number 14 to 17, we read about a king named Asa. Now, the scripture says that for a while, he was a very good king. In fact, in chapter 14, verse 3, he took away all the foreign altars and got rid of the foreign gods. And then in verse number 4 of 14, he commanded Judah to serve the Lord. Now you say, well, that's not right in our culture. That sure wouldn't go very well where you would demand someone. But he saw the need that it was absolutely necessary for them to serve God if they were going to be successful. You know, we do that with our children sometimes. We demand them that they have to do this or do that or not do something because we know it's healthy for them or not healthy. So anyway, he commanded them that they serve the Lord. And then in chapter 15, verse 16, he removed his own mother as the queen because she was very wicked. God in turn helped him in chapter 14, verse 11. A big one million Ethiopian army came against him and God, he cried out to the Lord, the scripture said, and God came to his rescue. But in his 36th year of reign, he reigned 41 years, but in 36th year of reign of his reign, something changed. Again, uh, an army came against the Assyrian army and instead of calling out to God this time, uh, he turned uh, to someone else for help, uh, to another army for help. And the scripture says that, uh, and in fact, we read in verse number nine, he was approached of chapter 16, that the prophet approached him and said this, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. But you have done foolishly in this. From, from now on, you will have wars. So what happens here is instead of turning to God, he turned to, to man for help. I want to say, my friends, we see in that one scripture, the very strong principle that God is our support group. He is very strong uh, helper in anything that we may uh, need and that we may have. And, and his eyes are looking to help us. So, friends, I want to say, if you're going through a struggle, you're going through a problem, go to God. He's the best supporter that you have. And God's people can also pray with you and help you and support you in times of trouble. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.